Hey guys, welcome back once again. I wanted to give you an update on the wagon. You know, since I got it, we did that first video and told you some things about it, went over the Marty report and stuff. And I can't believe that I forgot to mention one of the coolest options that I had saved for this car in case I found one. And I'll get to it in a second. But I wanted to show you this fender. See, the hood is still pretty dull, and this fender, I just polished it out by hand. I didn't put a buffer on it or anything, and I believe this original paint's going to come back great. I don't think it's going to have much done to it. Maybe a few little blemish corrections if possible, but I think it's going to be great the way it is. So, um, I did find out the first time I took it down the road, I immediately started smelling something. So it's got to have a heater core. That's the first thing. And I notice when it sits in the shop here overnight, I get a little drip. That's several days worth there. But so I honestly, I think the, that the water pump's probably leaking on it too. So going to have to give it some attention. But let's go back here and talk about what I plum forgot to even mention that I had. And I did get the brown seats that I had. I believe I told you I had the correct seats. They just weren't the right color. I got the ones that were in it because out of it because they weren't correct. And I put these in it and I haven't bolted these down yet because clearly the wind is blowing like 30, 35 mile an hour gust today. That's why I can't be outside. And just sticking out here, it's making a lot of noise but anyway the cheapest place that i found anybody to recover these seats for me in the original vinyl is in st louis and they want 1300 bucks most people don't even want to touch it they're just like nah I'd, I'd rather not so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take in the body shop and we're going to try to dye them in the original color because nobody's going to be back here anyway and i figure that's going to be a lot cheaper just to try that first rather than spending $1,300 on new vinyl. So that's where we're at there. But anyway, this game table, I can't believe I plum forgot to mention that this was one of the options that I had for it. I got this off of Facebook Marketplace a couple years ago. And I can't believe it has all the original game pieces. And you see that the checkers even have the original Ford Crest on them. And all the game pieces are magnetic. And it clips right down in here where the seat you know, latches when you close the door. And then this goes up over this little rubber bumper. Now, my problem is, clearly there's some sort of bracketry. I got it setting up on a box so you guys can see how it goes. But if you see these three dimples and how they're the same distance apart as this, and then you got two over here, and see they're about the same distance apart as that leg piece. So something's missing. There's a bracket or something that goes in there. And I'll put a picture up here. Uh, I had a guy speak up on one of the station wagon groups and said that what he used was those little metal brackets that you put a jack handle in on all the Ford trucks. He riveted that to there. So that's probably what I'm going to do is find something like that. And there's different ones too. So I'll... I'm going to look for like some that are pretty much the correct length and go across all those holes like I can, but you got to be extremely careful because the fuel tank is back there too. And the fuel tank's already leaking somewhere. I smell it. It's not dripping, but I smell it. And I'll show you that too. But anyway, that was one of the coolest things that I, I can't believe I forgot to mention was I have the original game table option as a dealer accessory. So... Let's see. Let's open the hood. Luckily, that heater core is right there underneath that metal plate, so it's extremely easy to change. It's one of the easiest, easiest heater cores that you could ever ask for, and I've already got it. So I just got to get the time to do it. I got to get the time to do a lot of things. So, and if I have to put a water pump on it, even at 58,000 miles, I'm probably going to go ahead and put a timing chain and gears in it too. Why not? 
And the hood ornament is cracked up. You see, it's got a lot of hairline cracks in it, but fortunately, I've got two new old stock ones. So that's covered. Don't have to worry about that. Let me grab a flashlight and I'll see if I can show you what I'm talking about this gas tank. All right. I'm on the passenger side. If you look up here, this is where I really smell gas. And see how it's moist up there on the underbody? Hopefully it's just like a rubber hose or something. But it very well could be from the gas tank rubbing the top or rubbing the underside of the body. I don't know. Probably when we go get exhaust put on it, it'd be going to be the best time to drop that fuel tank and see what's going on there. The fuel tank itself looks extremely clean. Doesn't look rusty at all. Fuel gauge works and everything. So I'm hoping maybe it's just a rotten hose. Maybe that vent hose or something. So let's cross our fingers and hope that's all there is to that. Alright, as far as the inside so far, I do have a Quadrasonic 8-track tape player that I'll probably put in here. So far, this is the only piece I've got for the wood grain to add the Landau Luxury Group, start adding that trim. I know a guy that has got all four pieces. He's got this one, he's got the instrument one, he's got the radio one, and he's got the one that goes over the glove box. But I like this wood grain so much better for the Landau Luxury Group. It makes it look way more expensive. So I'm trying to find that, all, all four pieces. If he would just get back with me, I know for a fact he has it. Because I know of a car he bought that had brand new ones in the box in the trunk when he got it. And then he sold the car. So he tells me he still has them and he's going to get them and send them to me. But... I hate to keep bugging him because every time I call him, he still says he's going to do it, but he hasn't. So that's what we got so far for the inside is one piece of the wood grain. And I do have a quadrasonic eight track tape player to put in it. And I do have a working clock that we'll put in it. I actually have five. There's four here. I've got five new old stock wire wheel covers for the car. It's got the deluxe wheel covers on it. That's not what I want. I can't believe the people that have spoken up and said, on even on the the last video and on some Facebook station wide groups, oh, don't change those wheel covers. I, I love the deluxe wheel covers. Well, if you love them, then when you get a car, you can have them. I want these. The dealer brochure said add some flair. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to add some flair. I want to try to set this up in the camera so I can set this stuff up and let you guys see what it's going to look like when I get started adding some options. Okay. Let me hold this up here. There's your deluxe wheel cover. There's your optional wire wheel cover. There's your deluxe wheel cover. There's your optional wire wheel cover. So, these are what's going on. All right, we will be adding, and I got attacked by Adam Wade today of <laughs> Rare Classic Cars and Automotive History. He doesn't want me to do this, but I've got this complete new old stock set of body side moldings that follows this line right here. And see on the wagons, they made them brown to match the wood, where on all the other cars, they were coarse chrome with the black insert, but on the wagons, they made them this nice brown color. And so I'm gonna be adding the body side molding, just like so, all the way down the side. Adam thinks it makes it look too gaudy, but the one that I seen at Amico that I mentioned in the first video when I worked there, it had all these options and that's the car that I wanted. I thought it looked so dang expensive that that's just the way I want to make it. I want to make it my own. So I've got a new old stock set of body side mold. Okay. We've also got, I have collected 
absolutely everything to change out the regular power windows and add the power mini mat windows that go here in the front that go down before the big glass and go up after it. It was the last year, 77, and I, and I even had a guy come in, oh God, don't put those in there. But these are new old stock. I know how to work on them. I've always wanted them. And believe it or not, this weather stripping, whether you got them or not, has got little lines cut in it on both sides of your window sweeps for this to come up through. So even the weather stripping in all of the cars, whether you had them or not, it's already there for the power management window. So it's going to be getting those. And I have a new old stock illuminated entry lock set and I added this to my black mercury like I said you guys haven't seen me do it but I'm going to do, do videos on showing you how to do it so this is going to be there let me grab that door trim again Okay, so there's that, and then it's going to have the illuminated entry halo lock cylinders there. And so that way when you lift up your door handle, this is going to illuminate the little halo around here. It's going to turn on your dome lights. I've got the complete original wiring harness and, and the, the module and everything for this car, but we're going to take it out of that town car that we got from Tracy. We're going to take that option out of it so you guys can see yourselves how to add it if you want to do it yourself. If you find one in the junkyard, you could take it all out and add it to this one. So I just wanted to give you a little bit of an update where we're at with it. I haven't really had time to do anything because last week I was swamped in the shop with customers. Plus even this afternoon I had to sit here and make keyless entries because it's those are selling just about as fast as I can make them. So. I don't know, hopefully we get a break in the weather and it stops being so windy and I can get outside and, and start taking some of this stuff off the Lincoln from Tracy. We can start doing some of this stuff outside. You see, cause my shop is such a mess that I can't, I can't get around it for you guys to see everything. And yes, that's my fault. I need to do some cleaning, but this is where we're at. So if you want to see any of this stuff, please remember to like the video me a comment down there and subscribe and follow me so you can see this transformation. Adam is getting ready to do a video on this car really soon too, so stay tuned for that. If you haven't checked out Adam's channel, he's extremely knowledgeable on every car, not just Ford's, Lincoln's, and Mercury's. Rare classic cars and automotive history. Go to his channel. He's getting ready to do a video on this one too and subscribe to his and you'll find all kinds of cool facts. So, alrighty. That's it. Stay tuned. Thanks.